Hello again, minions. Wheezy here. Today we are going to talk about the recent minor battlefield announcement, and we're just going to talk the next battlefield kind of in general. So let's go. Let's go chat about it. Okay, so I'm just going to roll in some gameplay that I captured uh, recently, which is yesterday, playing uh, some Battlefield 4 on my PS5, uh, and then I'll just talk some Battlefield while that's playing. Okay, so first let's talk about what this announcement was, and by announcement I mean this was a public uh, earnings call for EA, the publisher, and essentially what they're doing is getting on a call with all their stockholders and saying, hey, here's why we're make going to make a whole lot of money this year and why you should continue to invest in our stock. Um, but specifically about Battlefield, what they said was is that the new Battlefield game, a new Battlefield game, is coming out holiday of this year, holiday 2021. Holiday meaning November, December time frame when people are buying stuff for Christmas, uh, which is great news. And they also said that they're going to be doing an official reveal in the spring of this year, which is going to be probably March, April, May time frame. So relatively soon we're gonna get a reveal of a new battlefield game coming out this year and i am excited so uh i figured i would make this video to kind of talk about uh let's scroll out so i can see where this is in the context of the gameplay that i'm showing um i am super excited because people are suspecting uh that this is going to be a modern battlefield game uh, especially since the last two games, this around, the last two games were obviously Battlefield 5 was a World War II game and Battlefield 1 was a World War I game. So the last modern Battlefield game that we had, uh, I guess technically would be Hardline, uh, although the last major Battlefield iteration that we had was this. And I'm showing you gameplay of Battlefield 4, uh, which. Obviously, in my brain, I was kind of like, I, I, you know, it's not like the game's gotten any worse over time, but going back and actually connecting to Battlefield 4, like, playing it on my PS5, uh, man, it's still a solid game. Like, I remember why I loved the game and I played it so much. Uh, you know, tactical Battlefield action, like, it is significantly less arcadey, right, than, like, Call of Duty is. Um... Not sure if you more realistic is probably what you would say, although it's not you know trying to be a simulation military game like uh, trying to think like back in the day I played on a console was it uh, Operation Flashpoint that was a lot of fun single player um, may have been a multiplayer mode in that that I played a little bit but what's the uh, Arma Arma I guess would be the equivalent of that uh, that was a PC game but. Yeah, it's not quite that level of simulation, but obviously I love Battlefield. Anyone who's been around the channel for a while knows that Battlefield uh, is my jam, is awesome. So uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, um, even back on the Xbox 360, Battlefield 1943, when they did that, uh, you know, digital only kind of a remake of Battlefield 1942, uh, that was just, I mean, I have, I have loved Battlefield. Matter of fact, I have loved Battlefield significantly longer than Call of Duty. The the first video game that I think I ever purchased for myself because growing up all the way until I got to college essentially like I didn't have you know, work, get a job, I didn't have a job in high school or anything like that so, if, so I, my dad had the video game habit. I picked up my video game habit from my dad uh, so he would buy me games. Um, until I got to college the first game I spent my own money on in college was a PC copy because that's all it was of Battlefield 2. Uh, I remember they announced the trailer for that and the announcement for Battlefield 2 got me so freaking hyped and then I uh, bought Battlefield 2 uh, on a on a disc like in a uh, you know, CD uh, in a in a hard case like when PC games were still kind of about that life so. And man, I played the shit out of Battlefield 2. Me and some of my buddies in college just played a ton of it. Um, and then Battlefield Vietnam after that. So, yeah, I've been I've been a Battlefield fan for a long time since long before I was really into Call of Duty. And I uh, I remember when I got the PS3 uh, close to its launch, uh, Call of Duty th 3 
was uh, I think the new Call of Duty game at that time when it was still when Call of Duty was still a World War II franchise. And yeah, I mean, I just it was just like, oh, Call of Duty, you're you're the game that's trying to be Medal of Honor because Medal of Honor was like the big game uh, shooter game back then, and it was also World War II. So modern shooters hadn't really become a, a big popular thing at that time, especially not in the console space. And, uh, you know, I've been a console guy since, you know, PS1 days and before, so. Anyway, all that is to say that I've loved Battlefield for a long time, and I am super excited about the potential for a new Battlefield game, because Battlefield 1 did not catch my attention. I got it. I still have it, I think. I don't know how far I played it. I don't know how much, if any, I actually posted it to the channel. Battlefield 5, I think I posted a couple videos. I didn't play much of that either. Not just because those games didn't capture my attention, but there was also a whole lot going on in my life. That was during the, that was kind of like during my dead time, um, when, that five years of absence. So maybe I didn't post any of that stuff. I don't even know. But I, I played, I played Battlefield One and Battlefield Five a little bit. Um, I think I had them both on the Xbox One, which may have been why I got delayed. Anyway, point being, they just, you know, they didn't do it for me. At the same time that Call of Duty went from modern shooter into the future, which I don't really like, and Battlefield went back to World War II and World War I, which it was just like, it's like all of my shooter franchises just fucking abandoned me <laughs> for like three years, four years, where they were just like, no, we're, no, you want to play, you want to play runny future wall jumper laser gun game, or do you want to play old timey crappy guns, old timey game, and I was just like, I want to, I want to play. I want to play a modern shooter. I want to play Battlefield 4. <laughs> I, like, and even going back and playing Battlefield 4 with the gameplay mechanics, the weapons, the vehicles, all that stuff. And maybe this is a thing that exists on PC. I'm not sure. I know. I don't think it's officially supported by uh, by Dice. But if they just literally took Battlefield 4 and updated all the the skin, the textures. And then just and changed it nothing. If they just updated the textures so that when the game that so that the game could run in whatever 4K on the PS5, I would play the shit out of that. <laughs> Although, hopefully, the, what they're coming out with is uh, this year is going to be even bigger than that. So um, and a modern game. I'm hoping. So that's the part where I got my fingers crossed. It's gonna be a modern game. What they have said about it that they have released is that it is going to be. And this was part of the same earnings call. This is going to be the biggest, the biggest Battlefield game ever. Um, so we assume both in scale and in player count. You know, 64 player servers has been kind of the Battlefield standard uh, for a while now. And um, so the, the rumors would be essentially that they would go up at least to probably 100. If you use, uh, if you use computer terms, there's a reason that there's kind of like 32, 64. Those are, those are binary numbers. Um, that, that divide evenly, right? So you can specify a number of bits that correspond to that number. So it could be like 128. Obviously, some modern battle royales um, like Black Ops, or was it Blackout in Black Ops 4 was, I think, 100, and Warzone is like 150. So, so it doesn't have to be a binary divisible number, but people are guessing somewhere in that realm, 100, 128, maybe even 150. Uh, players which and they say that it's also going to build on kind of the battlefield feel in the battlefield franchise uh, indestructibility going back and playing battlefield 4 I'd kind of forgotten because there wasn't much destruction in hardline that I can recall and there hasn't been a ton in I guess there was some decent destruction in battlefield 5 and stuff like that but literally I was in a building that was getting lit up by a tank and I'm like ducking and hiding from a tank uh, and and then it starts to creak and I remembered, like, in that moment, I was like, oh, shit, that's right. But buildings can fall down in this game. So, you know, there were three, like, me and two other teammates or something in that building. And, like, when it starts to creak, we all just fucking book it for the, the door to jump out of the building because it's about to collapse. Like, I forgot how much I loved Battlefield stuff like that. So, um, and here in this clip right now, I'm, I'm flying a helicopter. Another thing that I really missed going to Battlefield 1 and then to Battlefield 5 was the helicopters um jets you know they you know battlefield 5 had airplanes i didn't spend much time in battlefield 5 right like at all so that said i don't even really compare that to jets but even battlefield i, I spent quite a bit of time in jets in battlefield 3 and 4 
but helicopters are kind of like what I love because they're difficult. Like there's a lot of finesse to fly in a helicopter. Those of you guys who haven't seen it, I did a tips and tricks video. I think it was in Battlefield 3. I'm relatively certain back in the day, which was an introduction to how to fly helicopters um, because they fly very much like a real helicopter. There's, you, you know, elevation and there's your cyclic and cyclic controls and your, anyway. Yeah, it's cool. Flying helicopters is not like in Warzone where it's like up, down, and bang. You know, it's like a like driving a car that flies. Um, flying a helicopter in Battlefield is a lot more like flying a helicopter in real life, where you have your controls for your power. You know, your, what controls your rotor speed essentially. Oh well, not even your rotor speed, your scoop angle, and then your pitch, and that's it. I love that. I want that back. <laughs> you know, I, I get the feeling, and I don't remember if they did this for Hardline. I think they had a more accessible control scheme that you could use that made it easier to fly for people who don't want to learn how to fly like that, which I get. Um, and then they had the ability to go to the old, you know, more simulation style flying, which does give you a lot more flexibility. If you learn how to fly a helicopter using the hard control scheme, you have more ability to maneuver. Anyway, I'm learning out about helicopters. Point being, I'm excited for a new Battlefield game. When they reveal it, I sure as hell hope it's a modern game. Like, I don't want it to be 2143. Like, I don't want it to be some future shooter. I don't want it to go in the past. They need to come back to modern times. I think the the feeling I get from people that I, I watch on YouTube and stuff like that, people who like shooters that I like, everyone's kind of asking for a modern Battlefield game. They're like, okay, all right, Dice, that was fun. We, we took a walk down memory lane, went back to World War II, like everyone did in the early 2000s forever. Uh, but let's come back to modern. So. Hopefully that's what's going to happen, and uh, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So preferences, like what what would I like from this? Like honestly, Ma Battlefield Four, <laughs> right? Updated graphics, maybe some added weapons, some maybe I don't know. They don't need need a lot of new gameplay mechanics. They just need to to make a new version of this game, like maybe improve some of the hurdling mechanics and stuff like that just to make it a little bit smoother. Battlefield 4 is good and the movement feels very deliberate. You know, this was at a time when games like COD 4 were out. Um, so they could have made it feel a lot more like that. But your player in Battlefield feels a lot more significant, a lot more heavy, like a real soldier would. So it doesn't feel like you're zooming around all over the place. It feels like you got some heft, you got to speed up and slow down. And I like that. That adds to the Battlefield kind of feel. Um, in addition to these battlefield moments, <laughs> guy running at you in a jeep, and helicopters, and jets, and bombs, and buildings collapsing, so, I don't know, they don't have to do a ton, they don't, they don't necessarily need something like the, the Levolution stick, stick that they did, like, um, you know, give us some normal destructibility back, and you don't have to do a bunch of these really big, grand, crazy things, well, I, I don't know, I don't necessarily even have a preference one way or the other, where they go with, with that vision of it. Um, just the, the battlefield mechanics, modern warfare, you know, modern weapons, modern setting. That's gonna, that's gonna, it's gonna be my jam, yo. Um, especially with, uh, well, I guess there's gonna be a new Call of Duty. Who knows what there's gonna come from Call of Duty this year. Cold War is absolute nightmare right now. I tried to even, Seb was like, hey, let's play some Call of Duty. I was like, hey, you haven't played the new Cold War, let's do that. Local split screen for Cold War is just fucking broken. If you start a game, you get one of those UI errors, like I talked about in my Why Cold War Sucks video. And it kills the entire UI for the game. There's no HUD. There's no radar. All of the HUD is off. It's just basically like hardcore. But you also can't pause the game and bring up a menu to like exit the match. You just have to let it run its course or kill the game from the menu. Uh, like, Cold War is so fucking broken. And I'm... What, the, what they said from the earnings call for bat, the next Battlefield game is that the, inter the team for the Battlefield game is ahead of its internal milestones. Which makes me think that hopefully Battlefield is not suffering from this pandemic, work from home bullshit stuff. If internally they're not trying to push to a deadline and they're, and they're instead just, they're on schedule or ahead of schedule, then that, that bodes well for a quality game coming out that isn't full of broken shit. Which, you know, Battlefield has been known for in the past, has been known for rough launches, uh, you know. Uh, I, I can't remember the details right now as far as previous Battlefield games, but even Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, I remember there being some some roughness at launch, so uh, hopefully that's going to be all kind of ironed out, so. 
We shall see. I'm excited. Um, so the gameplay here uh, that i am got in the background is about to start wrapping up to a close, so that's a good time to flip it over to you guys and say, what do you guys want from a new Battlefield game? You guys even want a new Battlefield game? You're like, I'm over Battlefield. I don't know. Have you guys played any of the recent Battlefield games? I'm not nice, this guy. Uh, let me know. Comment uh, down below and tell me what you guys want in a Battlefield game. Are you excited? Not excited? You ready to get away from Call of Duty? Like, like what are you looking forward to? Um, Cause I'm man, I'm I am super psyched. I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. Sometimes I literally just can't even. So, <laughs> uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed that little bit of throwback gameplay, some Battlefield 4 action, and uh, yeah, my random rambling on my excitement for Battlefield coming up. So if you like this video, like it for me. If you disliked it dislike it so that I know that this is my rambling is bullshit and you don't like it um, if you're not subscribed you're not a minion so subscribe for more videos from me um, and if you're new around here which there's quite a few my subscriptions are starting to climb a little bit more now that I've come back from the dead uh, go check out some of my old stuff there's some there's some there's some gold in there five six seven eight nine years ago uh, go dig around and uh, maybe that'll give you a little bit of feel of what you can expect coming forward but uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on uh, the new Battlefield game, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, minions.